everybody here looked at our mind basically fed, like, fed by the you know, Occupy movement, particularly the, the London Stock Exchange one, where like, they are obviously attempting to uh, occupy the Paranormal Square, but then it turns out that's not a public space. So what do we need to house these people? What do we need to have? So uh, that, that's kind of the direction that is going in. And so the existing building, uh, looking at its history, like its role in the community, that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, um, and also the proposals, like the proposal after turning it into an Indian restaurant, and that's so it's look, look at the, the very sort of like the old, the old centre. But uh, I mean, it's like that. It's to do with like the scales of association. So, have you started to structure your? your yeah, I've, I've written like half of it. And the rest of it's planned. Just, I'm curious about how Perth is Perth a case study then? Yeah. Are you using it as a referential yeah. thing within yeah. the whole structure of the? Yeah, and you know, the summation has to be pretty sharp. Well, it's, uh, the main focus of it is the, kind of the nature of public space. Right. Um, I'm just wondering about how much focus should really be on this one building. Is it more yeah. not about the yeah, Well, I mean, I mentioned that conference centre because I know that's one of the newest buildings in the yeah. city. How is that affected? The, yeah. the idea of public space within Perth and how is it used? And how might your new insertion compare with that and complement or be something different? I think in the big society agenda, you are getting situations now where city councils are looking for communities to take ownership yeah. of, of projects, buildings, whatever. So that mean. If you're interested in the civic um, aspect of Perth, I would have thought that the river was very important because that continuous kind of river facade is, is, is one of the grandest civic statements that I know of actually, um, at least for a town this size. But I've ignored the fact there's a city community. You know, there are, you know, there's, there's a lot of city living going on. Um, and so there is this notion of, you know, why are they taking all that, you know, enterprise as well as, you know, you talk about civic space, but there's also enterprise as part of that. You know. There's another question when you, you say community, and what, what do you mean by that? Because mm -hmm. Perth as a, as a centre projects itself as a very affluent city. You just move a very short distance outside and you find another side of Perth that you I think that mm -hmm. Harrogate's similar. The, 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 the image of Harrogate is very much about an affluent middle class. Mm -hmm. But where do the dust people live? You know, they do have riots and you know, there are troubled areas. Mm -hmm. Adopting bits of other buildings, I think it'd be interesting if this is a sort of conference hall and archive for the Surgeons Museum. The other massive responsibility is for the overall site, for the boundary of the site and the, the organisation and lending of coherence to these disparate sort of fragments. In an archive such as this, you'd see the leaves sort of ageing as you get to the top of the more precious stuff. I think it could be quite interesting. Couldn't they just be exposed inside in the internal environment and control the light and you control access to them? And the outside could be magenta, lemon, lime colours. It could be something absolutely, completely different. Nice. And I think you should also think uh, what, uh, not, or not neglect what is happening here. Mm. Because there's a facade line here mm -hmm. and you now take over this. Yeah? This rectangle here, but it would, be more, would, be, would make more sense to continue the facade line, perhaps, and really respond to the urban situation in the mm -hmm. You know, there's a, such a gap between your vision, which is nice, and what you know, the result is. Mm -hmm. Because if we take something like this drawing of face value, where there's a continuous wall of shells, that the interior of that would be pitch black and would rely totally on artificial light. You take that idea and just inverse it, but it is basically a, a, a sort of figure ground like the Chilida drawing. Mm -hmm. And then and you don't get into the, this discussion about the technology, yeah. Yeah. you can keep it purely spatial. And 